Google Assistant has been out for quite a while now. Many consider this to be an upgrade to Google Now. Today, I will show you some tips, tricks, and commands for use with Google Assistant that every user needs to know. Many of these are beginner level tips with a few advanced tips mixed in. Near the end of this video, I will share with you dozens of additional commands you can use with Google Assistant. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. We're going to start off with the absolute basics and take a look at the assistant settings. Since some of you have mentioned that you have difficulty getting to the assistant settings menu. One way to get there is to hold down the home button. Or you could say the command, OK, Google. And this will get you to the assistant screen as well. For the remainder of this video, I won't be using that command anymore. From here, you'll see a blue drawer icon. So tap on that. It will take you to this explore tab where it will give you several options for commands that you can use with the assistant. The next tab over is your stuff, which will show you reminders, your calendar, shopping list, and, and other stuff. Then to the right of that, tap the hamburger menu, then select settings. There are plenty of settings here you can mess with from your personal information, all the way down to services, including home control and news. And they're all self-explanatory, so there's no need for me to go over these with you. So let's move on. For these commands I show you, I'll give you a brief description, then say the command, and then we'll listen to the assistant's response. Feel free to pause this video at any time to try these out on your own. This first one's called the daily briefing. Depending on your settings, this one will give you your weather, calendar, traffic, and even news. The command is good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chief. I hope your day is off to a good start. The time is 9.44 a.m. Currently in Ponchatoula at 82 and partly cloudy. Today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 87 and a low of 73. Have a great day. Here's the latest news. If you have a terrible memory like me, the assistant can create a shopping list. The command is create a shopping list. Create a shopping list. What do you want to add? Mayonnaise and mustard. Okay, I've added mayonnaise and mustard to your shopping list. If you want to take a look at your shopping list later on, just say, show me my shopping list. Show me my shopping list. Here you go. It will then take you to an online version of your list. In the daily briefing mentioned earlier, the news was part of that briefing. If you only want to hear the news from your favorite sources, say, tell me the news. Tell me the news. Here's the latest news. Here's a fun one. You all are familiar with the I'm feeling lucky button in Google search. If you say I'm feeling lucky to the assistant, it all gets a little strange. I'm feeling lucky. Game show time. Okay, okay. I'm going to psyche myself up now. Stay calm. Sorry, not you. I'm talking to myself. One, two, three, four. Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? Prepare to enter the chamber of random trivia questions. <laughs> On top of being your Google Assistant, I'm the host of this silly show. How many people do we have? I don't want to spoil the rest of this for you, so I'll leave the rest of this craziness for you to watch on your own. If you travel to a foreign country and you don't speak their native language, this one is useful for real-life translations. Here's an example. Good morning in Spanish. Buenos dias. Good morning in French. Bonjour. To ask the assistant to play some music, you could say, play some music. Or to be more specific, you could say, listen to and the artist name. Listen to Metallica. All right. If you want the assistant to refer to you with a nickname, all you have to do is say, call me, followed by the name. Call me Iron Man. You'd like me to call you Iron Man. Is that right? Okay, got it. To have the assistant fetch photos from a particular time, you could say, 
show me my pictures from, followed by a date. Here's an example. Show me my pictures from August 2013. I found this in your Google Photos. If you have people or places labeled in Google Photos, you could actually be more specific and say, show me pictures of my dad, or show me pictures of my mom, and so on and so forth. Some of you may recall the do a barrel roll command from Google Now. Here's what that looks like. Do a barrel roll. It's quite different with Google Assistant. Do a barrel roll. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. <laughs> Nailed it. Google Assistant is great for smart home integration. Sadly, none of my smart home devices work natively with the Assistant. So I had to download If This Then That from the Play Store. If you don't have this app yet, it's a must have for those with smart devices. I currently have it integrated with my Ecobee Smart Thermostat, but different recipes to be used with Google Assistant. For example, if I were to say to Google Assistant that it is too hot, it triggers my thermostat temperature to drop to 77 degrees. It is too hot. Sorry, I am unable to process your request. Even though she would respond back to you with being unable to process your request, just by saying the key phrase, it triggered the if this then that recipe and dropped the temperature on the thermostat to 77 degrees. There is no need to go to the quick settings panel to control your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Just use the assistant. You just say turn on, followed by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Turn on Bluetooth. Turning on Bluetooth. And the same goes for turning off Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Turn off Bluetooth. Turning off Bluetooth. Instead of putting in an address into Google Maps, you can just say to the assistant, navigate to, followed by the name of the destination. Navigate to Commander's Palace in New Orleans. Commander's Palace is 46 miles away. Tap to start navigation. There are a few of you that like to watch Netflix on your phone. Here's a quick access tip for you. Say the word watch, followed by the name of the show, followed by on Netflix. Watch Breaking Bad on Netflix. Opening Netflix. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad yet, it's one of the best TV shows ever made. Let's suppose a friend or family member is having a birthday, but sadly you can't sing in tune. Have the assistant sing happy birthday for you. Just say, sing happy birthday. Sing happy birthday. Oh, very happy birthday, Iron Man. Sing happy birthday. Let's party like it's your birthday, Iron Man. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the most amazing person in the universe. Happy birthday to you. This time I had to say the command twice to get her to sing. And sometimes she'll sing the first time you say, sing happy birthday. If you are really bored, you can ask the assistant to play a game. Play a game. You can play one of these games. And she'll give you several options of games that you can play. The assistant does math very quickly. Comes in handy when you don't want to use a calculator. 65,000 times 16 minus 4 minus 648 plus 19. The answer is 1,039,367. If you are forgetful and need a reminder for certain tasks, just say, remind me, followed by the task. Remind me to take out the trash tonight. Okay, do you wanna save this? Yes. Okay, reminder saved. To finish things out, I'm gonna ask some random questions as quickly as possible. Some of these will be old Google Now commands that may not work with Assistant. This could get creepy and weird. So here we go. How old is Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey is 60 years old. Is he married? He's been married to Marjorie Elaine Harvey since 2007. How far is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Toss a coin. 
Sure. It's Tails. I'm bored. Boredom Busters, coming right up. You can play a game, I can tell you a joke, or we can choose to be surprised with some random fun. Tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. What is E.T. short for? Well, his little legs don't help. One more. What did Jay-Z call his wife before they got married? Fiance. Tell me a random number. Sure. What have I got in my pocket? Some lint. Maybe a magical ring. Spare change, probably. What is the meaning of life? I have a factory warranty, so I don't worry about things like that. When am I? The present, of course. TARDIS functionality is still undergoing development. Sorry. Will I need an umbrella? Yes, rain is expected today in Ponchatoula. How tall is Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is 5 feet 7 inches tall. What does the fox say? Ring ding 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 a ding and wa pa 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 Or so I've heard. Roll a die. Sure. It's a three. What's the loneliest number? The loneliest number is one. Make me a sandwich. I wish I could. Luckily, I can help you find out how to make a sandwich. Beat me up, Scotty. I'd like to meet this Scotty. I hear a lot about him. He must be a busy guy. Sing me a song. I can sing. I can sing a song. I'll keep it simple. It won't last very long. What is your life story? I'm still on the very first chapter. How old are you? I'm still young, but cool young, not baby young. Are you human? I've been told I have a lot of personality. Who's your father? I can search that for you. Who's your mother? Here's a matching video. What do you look like? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Where do you live? You can find me in all kinds of devices. Phones, Google Home, pretty sweet digs if you ask me. Can you drive? Who needs a driver's license when you can take me places? We can go somewhere now. What is your morning routine? I like running long distances. One mile equals 1.60934 kilometers, or 5,280 feet. Do you sleep? I take power naps when we aren't talking. Do you have feelings? I have lots of emotions. I feel excited when I learn something new. What makes you happy? Knowing you're happy makes my day. Are you afraid of the dark? I like the dark because that's when stars come out. Without the dark, we wouldn't be able to learn about planets and constellations. Do you drink? I try to avoid liquids as much as possible. They're not kind to electronics. Do you have any pets? Maybe someday. <coughs> Let's party. Ooh, I love a party. It's a chance to really let my algorithms loose. Let's dance. You're the one with feet, but I can spin some music for you. What are you wearing? I do wear many hats, like researcher, meteorologist, and animal lover, but my favorite is being your assistant. Talk dirty to me. Bacteria. Grease. <laughs> the inside of your cell phone case after you haven't opened it for two years. Test. Is this thing on? Do you like the iPhone? I'm an Android fan, but I might be biased. Are you better than Siri? I think Siri's great. I'm definitely more googly. Do you know Cortana? Cortana is smart and funny, and I know she lives in Seattle. It's beautiful around there. Well, this wraps up the rapid fire questions for Google Assistant. And as I mentioned earlier, I told you it might get creepy and weird. That concludes this list. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any Google Assistant tricks you think more people should know about. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for the latest from Google and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.